and father will go to the back of the church to start. You're going to meet the family and the casket. You'll be holding the holy water and you'll stand next to father. At the start of the mass, he's going to take the holy water and he's going to sprinkle it on the casket and he's going to ask the family to do the same. He's going to cover the casket with the pall. He's going to do the introduction and then you're going to turn and walk towards the altar to begin the Mass. And you're going to walk slowly because you've got the family and the casket behind you. When you get to the front of the church, you're going to take the holy water, you're going to put it down and you're going to take the book of the Gospels that's on the altar. And you're going to bring it down and wait for Father. And when the time comes, he'll turn to you. You hand him the book of the Gospels, and he's going to lay it on top of the casket. From that point, you're going to go into what you normally do for the Mass, and everything will continue the way you normally would until it comes time for the consecration. At this point, you're going to take the water and the wine as you normally do. Father's going to pour them into the chalice as he does. You'll bow and then you'll take the water and the wine back. This is the point that your duties are different than a normal mass. You're now going to go to the other side of the altar where the incensor is on its hanger. You're going to take the incensor and bring it up to Father on the altar. And pull on the top and open it. Father's gonna take the incense from its holder and he's gonna pour it onto the charcoal that's in there and the incense will start burning. Then you'll hand him the incenser and he's gonna go down and he'll incense the altar, he'll incense the casket and then he'll come back and he's going to hand you back the incenser and you're going to take it and you'll place it on the floor of the bathroom and shut the door. Then you'll go back and you're going to take Father the water and the bowl and the towel and he will wash his fingers and say his prayers at that point. And this is the same as you'd normally do during a regular Mass. fingers and then you'll bow and you return your items to the table then you're going to continue and pick up again as you would for a normal mass at the end of the mass you're going to go back father's going to take the book of the gospels off of the casket and hand it to you you're going to put it back up on the altar where it was originally it goes flat on the altar behind the candle you're going to go back and get the holy water again and stand next to Father. Father again is going to sprinkle the casket. He might invite the family to do the same. When you're done with that, it's going to be time to exit the church. So again, you will start at the head of the procession and you will go out and everyone else will follow behind you. And again, you're just going to take your time because you've got a lot of people following you in the casket.